Sue saw when you found that extra gear? Um, I was still trying to conserve a little bit since it's so hot for my other races this weekend, but I tried to pick it up a lot, get a good lead. How did you feel like you that the lead was never really in doubt or that she never really had um, hand on? I, I don't know. I guess I like... I kind of had faith in myself that I'd be able to get it at the end. So. Thank you very much. Is it is it dawning on you just how impressive it is for a freshman to be doing what you're doing? Um, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, just what what does that feel like that you are able to accomplish this at such a young age? Um, it feels really great. It makes me really happy and re just really thankful. Yeah, I would think motivated for the future too. Yeah, see what yeah. you can accomplish. It does. I keep setting you new goals. Yeah. Well, what what's your next goal? Um, I'd like to I'd like to run under 9:30 and uh, 3,000. 3,000. Okay. Now, I saw you waiting at the end of the track for everybody to finish. Is that something you normally do? Yeah, I, I really like just everybody that we all come through together. It makes it makes me more fun, you know, when you get to see everyone that you just worked hard with and get to, like, just congratulate each other. Yeah. So what did it feel like going back to Drake Relays when you crossed and won your first Drake Relays? Um, I was like, oh, wow. And then, then I started... I was throwing up a bit on my lap, so I had to stop. But yeah, it felt it felt really good. I was just really proud of myself. And, and compare it now to your first state meet title. Feels pretty great. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool.